everyone, so today I'm filming an unboxing of um, my MacBook Pro 2019. This, just quickly add in, this is the 13 inch MacBook, but you can kind of see that from it, but like, just so you know. This is the one with the touch bar. Just a little disclaimer, this isn't my personal laptop, this laptop is my work laptop, which work has bought for me. But I really like watching like unboxing. I thought I'd unbox it, I don't know if I'm even going to upload this, but I thought it'd just be a bit of fun, just to set it up. It's gone with it. I've never done an unboxing of some sort of like tech thing. I just wanted to, my channel is more about beauty and about like, more just like makeup and stuff like that. And I thought, you know what, I'm never going to get the opportunity to do this because this will be my laptop for my work for years and my personal will be my laptop for years as well. So why not do it now while I can? Yeah, which is why there's no like very technical stuff in it, but it's just a very basic. So this is probably going to be the best view that I'm going to be able to get. Currently 20 past 11 at night, can I just say. I'm setting this up now because I need it for work tomorrow morning. Oh, I like this lighting, I'm not going to lie. I've already taken the like plastic thing off it. I know everyone likes that part because it's really satisfying, but it wasn't as satisfying as it normally is. You know, it was like one little thing and then it wasn't really very satisfying. It was just sort of like, you know. I'm gonna open this now. Ooh. Look at me, just call me I Justine. I got the, well, I actually didn't get a choice, like I say, work laptop, but it is the Space Gray 256 gigabyte MacBook Pro. Didn't get a choice things, it's the work laptop, but it's the one I would have chose anyway. My current personal laptop is the MacBook Pro early 2015, so that's silver. So I kind of wanted like a space grey one anyway, so I'm really happy that's the one I got. Okay. This is so pretty. Right, I'm going to place this here. I'm really intrigued by the charger of this because my Mac charger is really long. I want to see if this one is. So it's just a like USB-C charger, which we all know. There's no more magnetic charger in Macs anymore. It actually goes in and plugs in. And then we just have the little booklet thing. I think this is just like instruction stuff, right? Like Apple stickers, Apple stickers, little stuffs, instructions. So I think I'm really intrigued with is like customizing the the um, touch bar. Very intrigued by that. Then we get plug and the power brick. So this plugs into here, because the one I've got, and if anyone else has got the early 2015 Mac, you can do that. You can plug this into here and plug it straight into the like socket, or there's another cable that plugs into this. So let's just do everyone's favourite part. <laughs> and just... It's a stunning colour. And also, I didn't realise, but the Apple logo now, when you open it, it doesn't light up anymore. It's mirrored, which is stunning. I didn't know that. My one lights up. I just want you to see the, like... <laughs> I do have a case on this, but my God, it's so much thinner. Like, this is the early 2015. I don't know if you can, like, actually see. Do you, like, see the, like, size difference? Like, that's quite chunky. That's so pretty. It's pretty hard to turn it on. Is it the touch ID? How do you turn this on? Am I being really stupid? My one, like, has a power button. <laughs> I don't know how you turn this thing on. I can confirm it's the Touch ID. Does it need to be like charged or something? I'm gonna get the charger out like in case it's dead. There we go, we have lift off. I'm not sure if it was dead, but like it didn't turn on until literally I turned, put the charger in. This trackpad is huge. You're just gonna stay stuck there. Thank you. Okay. English UK. I do be British. Whatever. These keys are like so different. Oh no. We don't want that. I need to create an Apple ID because I've got to create a work Apple ID which I don't currently have so that's fun. 
name as it's work, I best put my full name, Bess and I. Oh my god, it's so hard to type with these nails. Everyone just agrees to terms and conditions, let's be real. Why not? What's the issue? So we're having an issue with creating the Apple ID. Um, can I create that later or do I have to do it now? So we're going to do South Player because it's just signed into iCloud, so we'll do that later. I agree. Oh, I didn't do a capital A. Oh, that's going to hurt me. <laughs> I'm setting up the, like, just the, like, account, like, the user. I didn't do a capital A. That's going to hurt my heart. Now I need to do Siri. I don't like Siri. He gets on my nerves, but I'm going to set him up anyway. Do I want to set him up? Yeah, I'll set him up. Hey, Siri. Oh, you can piss off. Sharp. That was the hardest thing I've possibly ever had to do because of bloody Siri on my phone. Touch ID, fun. This shouldn't have taken me this long to set up a laptop. It's been 19 minutes. So this is just identical to on the phones. And I've not had Touch ID in like a couple of years because I've got the XS. Definitely dark, no question. Um, sure. so freaking cute this i mean you can already see where i've been using it this is huge like it's so nice and these keys are like so 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 nice like compared to my um mac this is like because i've got the old mac pro like i said so this is just like these are so i don't know if you can see they're just really like sleek and just very like low it's so cool and we have the touch bar, which, let's see, so if I press that, that's cool. Okay, what else can I do? Oh, okay, so this is just like the classic, what would be on my Mac, this is like identical. Because you've got like brightness, then you've got, oh yeah, there's no windows available. <laughs> you've got the launch pad, brightness. And you've got like music and then you've got volume and Siri, but no one likes Siri. Okay, I want to see if I can like customize. How do I customize this? Let's see. Is there like a touch bar section? If I type in like touch bar maybe. Actions? No. Touch bar? No. Customize control strip? Sick. Okay, what have we got? Um, I guess screen lock would come in very handy. <gasps> Look, did you see that? Look, I literally just dragged it. That's so cool. I put it in the wrong space. Where's it gone? I've lost my screen lock. Why is everything shaking at me? Oh, it's like when you're okay, I'm with you now. I want this down here, but it's not letting me. I guess because I have to have it when it's like this, so I could like... Whoa, there's so many options. Okay, oh, right, I've got your... So, I want to close this. I don't want... That's default. That I don't want... Oh, right, I've got a swap with this. Got ya. I'm with it. I'm with ya. I've lost my mouse. Anyone see my mouse? There it is. Okay. So, what would I want from... I don't feel like I'd want screen brightness, to be completely honest. Let's put a lot of screen there. If you're in an app... I feel like this wouldn't, it, it like changes on the app. So I went in Safari, let's say. Okay, so it literally lists, that's sick. It lists all the things up here. Um, oh, okay, and these ones always stay there. So that's really good. So I've always got lock screen. That's really handy. Um, so it's, okay, this isn't like as, that's cool. Okay, fair enough. Fair play to you. Welcome to notes. Yeah, I know we have no iCloud. I just want to like type, like, I have only one hand, but. This is going to be bad because I've just done, I've obviously my nails and I'm hoping with just my right hand. Okay, this feels really nice. Yeah, this is nice. These keys, I don't know if you can see, they're just very like, you don't really press them down very much. The one thing I'm. I just went to do and I realised it's not there is I went to go and like click
click where the like dashboard would be a launch pad rather dashboard <laughs> but it wasn't there i only have it open it's there um but i'm just so used to it being there with the key as a key the trackpad's very cool i do really like how this is like massive like my one is so much smaller than this which i love i appreciate that a lot it's pretty cool um, I will probably be doing another one of these soon because I have actually ordered a MacBook Air 2020 in gold which is going to be coming in a couple of weeks, maybe not a couple of weeks when you see this, I'm not sure. And I'm going to be doing an unboxing of that, that is my personal laptop to replace my MacBook Pro early 2015. Um, but I just thought this would be fun to do and one of the reasons I wanted to do this is because my one I got for my personal use is doesn't have touch bar because it's an Air. But I was almost going to get the Pro for myself after seeing i definitely haven't seen like the full extent of what this touch bar can do um i literally only went on safari but and like settings but i would say like if you are only wanting to get a pro because of the touch bar save yourself money and go and get the air <laughs> because if like you're just using it for just personal use because it's like 500 pound cheaper and it's just a touch bar difference and like yes maybe some of the like processes and stuff is like maybe it's not as powerful and everything but if it's just for personal use why do you need that so save yourself some money and go and get like the cheaper one because the touch bar is very cool but it's nothing that you can't do with a mouse like just something you have to click on like on safari it shows you your tabs or shows you enter website you can do that with your mouse it's just a shortcut way of doing it if you're debating between which one to get then maybe this might have helped if you like this video please subscribe um i will be posting a, another unboxing of the macbook air so when i do receive it so i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye